My name is Sam Bingaman. I teach ERWC. Is that it? <laughs> Roll the tape. I've been teaching for 12 years. I'm living the dream. Most children grow up and wish that they could teach their high school. I've sat in the same room that I'm in right now for like the last 35 years of my life. Hopefully another 35 more. That's what success looks like. Sitting in the same room. I don't participate at rallies and like staff dances and stuff because I'm not that outgoing. I'm an introvert. I was not that great of a student. Um, I probably got B's and C's. I remember being in a math class here at Whitney. The teacher gave a test that I thought I, I knew what the, the answers were. And when he gave me the test, the test was nothing like the practice test. And so I crumpled up the test into a basketball and I threw it at the front of the room. And the teacher didn't like that and he kicked me out. So that's the kind of stuff I did in high school. I was not in AP classes. I was pretty much a tough guy who wore a leather jacket and rode a motorcycle to school. Golfing made me feel like I was better than other people. And it feels good to know that you're better at other people than something. Um, Besides that, I don't really like to play golf. I just play it to uh, dominate other humans. And uh, that's why. Yes, it is comparable. I played against Stanford. He played for Stanford. Um, he's two years older than me, so we're about the same age. Uh, if you were to watch us hit a golf ball, to the untrained eye, it would look pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, most people don't know that. Football is my favorite. I still love football the most, even though I didn't play in high school. Uh, football is the best sport for lots of reasons. I've been teaching for 14 years. I started in Orosi High School, and that's pretty ghetto. And it was scary. And it toughened me up and uh, made me a man. I started as a boy, obviously now I'm a man. Look at this. And now I've been at Whitney for 12 years. Um, I'll probably never leave. Money. Money and summers. That's the real reason why people become teachers. There's teacher shortages. And so the one thing that they can do to attract teachers, pay more money. You raise the salary and more people will obviously become a teacher. That's the truth. I'd say a student sent back an essay eight times last year, and that was annoying. Eight times of reprinting it, re-bringing it over, re-highlighting it, and that took them forever. I don't think they're used to teachers actually reading their essays, and so they just didn't, they didn't care enough to fix it. Um, I would probably teach like uh, sixth graders, I think that's a fun age. They go to PsychCon, they're getting a little smart. You can have some real conversations with them. And uh, I think that would be a good age to teach.